The other day, a very good friend of mine wrote to me, Money is the root cause of everything evil. And we all heard that before. But is it true? Yes. Yes, it is. It is true. Maybe not money in itself, but the way that we've been taught to use money. The way that money has been put in instead of life energy. Then it is the root cause of all evil. Because why are people making wars and hurting each other? It's because they feel that they have no value. Either themselves or the ones they're hurting. Or they want a value. Something that can be traded for money. So it is. And it's the pressure. It's the stress. I need the money. I need to work all day. So when I get home, I need my kids to be quiet and not make more work for me because I don't have any more energy. I have spent it all. I have traded my life energy for money to pay for your food and your water and your shelter. So don't bother me anymore. And you know when you're out there, when you're When you don't have enough energy, you get really snappy and angry and you get into your fight and flight mode in your nervous system. And maybe you snap out of it or you <laughs> and you start hitting people that you would never hit. You would never mean to hurt anyone. But when you're so, under so much pressure, you can do horrible things. And we see that every day. Because people are under so much pressure. Because we're taught that we need to trade our life energy for money. To be allowed to exist. And maybe now you can hear how wrong that is. It is, it is so evil. So what has been happening is that everything living on this plane, this world, will naturally flow like water. Because water, it turns out, is the life itself is the life of God that flows in us and outside of us. It's everywhere. It's what flows the information. It's what carries the information to everyone. That's how we are all connected. And if we live in a world without money, we will naturally support and nurture each other through bothering if not just through the pure joy of seeing another being being happy because i could give them something that they couldn't do themselves right so What should we do then? We should get rid of the money-based society. We can still have money and use it as the joker in a set of um, playing cards, right? You can use that for everything. And then we need to go back to the bartering system. So if I need a chicken... Or some eggs. And you have that. I can trade that from. Uh, with what I have. Do you need a ride somewhere? Do you need some spinach? Do you need a coaching lesson? What do you need? 
And if I don't know, I don't have that, what you need, I can give you a silver coin, right? I can give you that. Or some digital currency, because I don't think we're going away from that. I think that's a thing that's that's going to happen. Well, it is happening, so. So, but we have to go back to that natural bartering system and getting rid of the banks. When I grew up, you actually got paid from the banks to have your money there. Now I have to pay them to take my money and I'm not allowed to keep it all. Every time I want my money, they will take some money from me again, right? So it's getting worse and worse and we see that. So it's not money in itself. It's the little... It's been tweaked a little. So we didn't see it in the beginning. But now it's getting more and more off. It's like when you play the piano and just one of the notes there off. Then it ruins the whole thing. And we see that now. There's something off. We cannot ignore it anymore. There is so much war and and people are so stressed that they do stupid things. They are running around hurting each other and themselves because if they don't have money, they are not worth worthy of living here, of staying here, of being, of just existing. That is so wrong. It is so off. And that's why it might feel icky and off and wrong when you charge for your work. Because you know that you're actually asking other people for a piece of their life energy. Because they need to tr- go trade their life energy, their time, for money. So they need to do that before they can pay you. And it's just so icky, it's just so wrong. And that's how I've been feeling for many years. But if I don't charge money for my work... I cannot go pay for gas for my car and food for my kids and shelter for the whole family. So it's time that we stop doing that. That we're changing the system and creating healthy structures instead. We need to get rid of the banks So we can have our own money and then go back to the bartering system. So we can get rid of the money-based society and put in the water instead. So it can flow to everyone instead of now the, the money are directed to certain people. And we know that less than 1% of all the people in this world, they have all the wealth, the wealth, I don't know how to say, all the wealth, right? That is so wrong. It is so wrong. So that's why we need to get rid of that. Taking the life force back. It's your life. It's your life energy. And it's your money. And you should be the one deciding where they should go. And I bet that you would rather spend your money helping someone who really needs it. Or giving it, instead of giving it to the government. Who solely spend it on making wars and more icky stuff right so 
Let's do that. It takes courage and it takes new ideas. But we need to just step away from everything that's wrong and come into what is true, what is right, what is natural, not normal, natural. So do what is right. That's where it starts. Do what is right. Love you all.